Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to safely remove your injectors from the engine and uh, there's a few quick steps before we get to the injectors. I have separate videos on how to remove the engine cover, um, the air box, um, all the cables, wires from the wiring harness, but um, I will still show you a very good detail guide hopefully through good camera angles so you can see every step of the way and uh, you can uh, use that as a guide to repair your own car and remove the injectors from your vehicle. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this engine cover. It just simply lifts up. I don't want to put pressure on these pipes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just disconnect this one as well. So you've got an 8mm screw here which is connected to the coolant bottle. So take that screw out. And get the air box out with the air filter. The next thing we're going to remove is this insulation here on top of the rail and the injectors. So take that out. By the way, just for your information, I'm taking the engine out for timing chains and other jobs. So uh, it's gonna be much easier to show you the full removal of the injectors with the engine out. Now squeeze on the injectors, on the little plugs, and just gently pull out with a screwdriver. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just very gently pull them out. Don't force anything at this point. Everything has to come out super nice and easy. So now the whole wiring is completely removed from here and uh, in the next step we're going to proceed with the removal of all these fuel lines, uh, the metal pipes and the rail and all the injectors. I want to show you the correct and easy way of removing these injector return lines. There's a couple of different ways that um, people are showing on the internet and I, I noticed some of them actually damaged um, the cap here and the plastic and uh, I'm gonna run you through ISTA the user manual the BMW workshop user manual and I'm gonna show you how they uh, show the correct procedure of removing this they have a special tool which we don't have I looked up the part number you can't actually buy it it's only available for BMW so we're gonna use something that anyone has in their workshop I'm gonna use this large flat screwdriver um, also, I'm going to share my manuals and I will put a link in the description, uh, the website where I bought my manuals from and I'm also going to include my referral code. It's KM for Keen Mechanic 22, so KM22, that will give you 22% discount if you want to buy repair manuals for your own car. It's not just for this engine, I will include the one from this engine, but I'm also going to include uh, a link for the website where... I bought my manual. Now let's proceed with the actual procedure. So what you want to do is you want to place, let me put some more light in here. So you want to place your screwdriver on top of this nut. This is for the high pressure pipe. So just very gently, you can see how I'm working. Um, so 
put it underneath and raise it slightly. Okay, and keep raising it. Now I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. So instead of praying on the plastic injector here, don't do anything stupid. Give yourself a little bit extra support. So I have one of these, and uh, just keep raising it. Okay, so this is fully lifted now. When, let me just point with the screwdriver, when the plastic hits this black part here, these two little arms, so this is the stop, so you don't have to go crazy here. So once this happens, now let's see if we can pull it up like that. It should just come out. That's it. It's as simple as that. So you've got a small O-ring here, so you want to... This is a tiny little, let me just rotate the engine. So there's a tiny little O-ring here, which you don't want to damage. And this is how easy it is to remove these return lines, injector, fuel, oil, return lines, whatever you want to call them. In the manual, they call them oil, even though this is diesel. Um, so I just call them injector return lines. It's as simple as that. Now, let's try and do another one um, in the same way. So pry it here. I'm gonna change the angle, okay? So pry it up, lift it up. I'm gonna insert my, this is, I'm doing this just to give myself a little bit more leverage. So you can, you can use whatever you want. Just make sure your hand doesn't slip. Just be very gentle. These parts are plastic. You don't want to break anything or snap anything. So gently wiggle it and lift it up. And that's the second one out. Now let's proceed with the third one. Let me just spin the camera a little bit. So hopefully I'm going to remove this cable out of your way. And let's proceed with the next one. So what you want to do is Just to make it easier for installation later on, we want to retract this fully up. So this white part has to touch the black bit here. So we don't, we don't have much left. So just give it a wiggle. That's it. That's all you have to do. This is fully raised now. So we've gone, we've done three out of six. I'm gonna try and do the other one, number four. So let's proceed with number four now. Let's go to number five. Number five should be easy because we have good leverage here. Sometimes the caps, these white caps come out. So that's all return lines removed on a N57 530D. So just make sure all your O-rings are in place, they're not damaged. And uh, just before you start removing injectors and pipes, just make sure you mark them. Um, 
you can't probably mix them up to be honest with you but just make sure that you have numbers on them if you're a bit uh, fresh in this business just to save you a bit of time when you're putting it back in the next step we're going to proceed with the removal of all these fuel lines so this is a in my case this is a 19 millimeter uh, knot and I'm using one of these flare wrenches. They're not super tight, you just want to give it a twist. Same on this side. Just be careful, make sure you don't turn really hard and then you hit the plastic connected to the injector here. You don't want to make a mess. Most likely there will be some spillage of fuel. So you can place a rag or something, but we're going to be washing this valve cover anyway, so I don't see a point. On the next screen you're gonna notice that I've removed the fuel rail. Uh, don't worry about it, you don't have to remove it if you're just removing injectors. Now these are E10 as well. Let's go ahead and remove these injectors. This was tight. If you're wondering why I'm labeling up these injectors, uh, normally injectors are coded to each cylinder, so the computer needs to know uh, the calibration value of each injector. So the reason I'm labeling them is because I want to write on the tape rather than on the injector. So I want to put the numbers from 1 to 6, starting from, in this case, right to left so one two three four five six and this is um, how i'm gonna number my injectors just so i know which one came from where this is one two three four Five and six. Now this is 12 millimeter spanner and just be very careful when you're doing this. I'm going to try and wheel them out and then I'll show you one or two. That's number four came out really easy. Okay, it's a bit of uh, dirt here but we'll get that cleaned up. I'm going to place this somewhere safe.
we've removed four out of six number one and number six are stuck so we're gonna have to get a tool and remove these properly so I'm gonna explain very quickly what I'm planning to do I found an old M14 with fine thread nut so this screws perfectly on the threads here on the injector as you can see the idea here is to weld an attachment on this nut so then I can attach to my sliding hammer and then that means that I can just use it in order to pull out this injector but uh, obviously the hammer action from the, from the sliding hammer because I don't want to put too much pressure and try and turn these if they're not really going freely by hand with just a tiny bit of pressure you don't want to force too much these injectors so you want to hammer them out and get them out of the way so I'm pretty confident that this will work with the sliding hammer I have a, a decent size sliding hammer so let's weld this on let's make a tool and this is just showing you you don't need to buy special tools if you have some hardware lying around the garage you can make something yourself next thing I want to show you is what I've done here so I've placed a bit of masking tape on top of the injector and I've just uh, hammered it with a wooden basically the shaft of my wooden mallet and this is what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it so I don't want any dirt going inside this injector many people wouldn't even think about something like that to be honest with you I want to keep things super clean and I don't want any dirt going inside this um, I made a tool actually it's a self-made tool that I've been manufacturing over the last couple of hours so I'm gonna show you exactly how it works but first let's cover this with some masking tape and then we're going to proceed with the removal of injector 6 and injector 1. All you've got to do is just get a bit of masking tape, place it on top of the injector, push it in nice and firm. I'm going to use this hammer but I'm going to use the wooden handle of the hammer and just tap the corners. The sharp edge of the injector will cut the paper and then you can just lift it up. So that's it. I'm gonna screw on my self handmade tool. So I'm gonna show you the tool that I've made. So this is a long stainless steel pipe. I've got another pipe which is the actual sliding hammer action handle type thing so I've welded a bit of I've welded a bit of uh, thick solid stainless steel metal just for a bit of weight to give me some weight and this is a fine uh, fine thread knot here which I um, have actually cleaned up as well and I'm gonna thread this on top of the injector but uh, yeah, this is basically, I just made myself, a, I have a slide hammer, a full kit, but it doesn't suit, doesn't fit. So just ended up with this sort of setup. So whenever you hit this, obviously this will give it an impact and then you can extract it. So let's try and thread it here in place. And let's see if this works. It worked. That's number six removed. And this is really badly rusted here. Oh, this is awful. I'm gonna show you the hole of number six and what it looks like inside. So I'm really glad we're doing this now. Obviously, I will be I will be replacing the copper washer or the copper seal as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and remove number one as well. Oh my god, this is absolute mess. Let me bring you closer so I can show you inside these holes. This is completely rusted. I'm going to show you number six first. Ok, 
here. So if you think this is bad, have a look at number one. So this is it. I've removed all the injectors. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one.